Here we with the Shiva. And this is the one everybody recommends. I don't know which one we were playing. Let's try the normal Shiva first. Everybody's like, use the Shiva, use the Shiva. I think this is the Shiva we have. The Alpha on the 17th is over. It is now the 18th. I couldn't stay awake anymore. I just had to um, go to bed. So you saw how far I came. I got my account rank to 11. Now it's saying it's at 1. I don't understand that. But anyway, I thought I'd quickly go through all the vehicles. Now that I know them a bit better. It is called the LAF MK4 Badger. Let's deploy that. Massive vehicle. Quickly have a look. Wish they would say which faction would use this. I also wish the forward and reverse acceleration were a bit faster. It's just handled a bit better. Do not like this vehicle. Engine sounds rubbish. Sounds like it needs a tune-up. Right, there's something for us to shoot at. Jeesh. Oh, well, it's powerful enough. Hmm. Press of firepower. But those are only airplanes. Targeting a little difficult. Down a little, up a little. Man, just clipped it. Maybe these planes are a bit more powerful. Ah, that doesn't look great. Let's try it on a mech. Like I've taken its shield down. So I wonder which faction uses this. Wish they would tell you. Shift. Space spacebar seems to be a break. Oh, maybe that's a faster way to like if you need to reverse. Instead of pressing back, you break and then go forward. So like there, yeah. If I'm clicking back, it takes a while. Whereas if I break, and then I can change. Break, and then I can change. Oh, that's clever. Um, Alright, this wasn't where I'm getting the vehicle from. Must be the next bay. Break, spacebar, forward and here we are and break an x to exit oh god hmm Ooh. switch between all right let's see what the next thing is so th i don't know who the badger is for the Rico, I think that is actually. I, I'm sure I saw the Rico with the Cyberpunks, and I believe I also was using the Rico with the one I like, which is the Holy Corporation. Uh, I haven't seen the Hader. Raven is something that you can get with the Holy Corporation. I and Rock, I didn't see. Yeah, the Alconost is something that I did get with the Holy Corporation. Z Z Zephyr, and I don't think I played that. War Dog didn't play that. Hellcat didn't play that. That looks very, very um, robotic. What the Invid or in the very first robotic, it's like tripods or something. I can't remember what it's called, but it looks exactly like that. Very cool looking. I dig that. Yeah, this I did see. 
in the Alpha, the Itachi, that is one that you can craft as the Holy Corp and probably as some of the others. Uh, no, I didn't see this Mark I Majolner. And the Glaive, yeah, the Glaive, I did see it was one you can craft. Shiva is what I ended up going for because everybody was recommending the Shiva. Very cool. And what is this? Is this the Yari Tombo Tombogiri? That sounds like the Spider Mech. They don't say it's the spider, but I think that's that. And this, what is this? It's almost like a Thor, but with a seven instead of a T. Seven whore. <laughs> um, what is that? Is that an M? Monar? I don't know. I don't know what that letter is. It could be Nonar, Monar, Honar, MKR. Anyway. Ren also looks cool. So let's go through them. I'll just go through the... Uh, which one looks the best? Maybe I should go for... Hmm. So that's lasers. Lasers and a machine gun and more lasers. All right, let's have a quick look. Nice big vehicle. And as I said earlier, best way to quickly you click spacebar to to break and it's the best way to quickly if you're reversing break to a forward whereas if you just don't use spacebar and go backwards and forwards it's like the slow change to the other where yeah it's an immediate change to the other by hitting spacebar anyway let's see what these weapons are like jeez all right so this is what i tried before so it's like some kind of cannon combined with okay so there we get the idea on that one I don't like the sound of this engine oh there I click spacebar stopping instead of shift to go faster but you can't roll your vehicles you can't get them to go upside down that's probably a good thing it's a little arcadey KD, but arcadey isn't always bad I mean otherwise people are probably going to be upside down with their vehicles a lot oh, they must I hate this rubber banding I'm sure that's because of um lag or something something I used to see in DC Universe online alright so we break and we go forward let's see how these guns are Oh, this is better. I like this a lot better. This this gun feels a lot better to aim with. Oh, oh, this this feels good. Oh, missed. Takes a little bit of a reload time. Jeez, feels very good. Kaboom, baby! It's much more powerful than the previous version. Prefer this version a lot more. Jeez. Oh, I missed. How did I miss? I missed. Hey. Hey, big guy. How'd it go in there? I missed. <laughs> what does that mean? I missed. Oh, hell no. Oh, golly. It looks like... That's weird. I was on target. But I think... Alright, that was on target. But it looks like, um... Mm, I don't know why I missed there. But it feels very good. This is a much, much improved version over the other. Oh, golly. Reminds me of a G6 that the South Africans made. Well, the chassis of a G6, anyway. Alright. G6 is a much longer cannon. So that is the Badger Cudgel. Much better than your normal Badger. Much, much better. I love the gun on this. It just takes a while to uh, rearm. And sometimes it's off target, which is weird, but very cool. Let's see how this third version goes. I like the look of it. Oh, there I didn't break. Remember to break and then go for it. Good. Alright, let's see how these mechs stand up against this. 
Uh. Oh, that's a lot of laser light, huh? That is very nice. Much, it's it's more accurate, and it feels very deadly. Now this feels awesome. Jeez. I'm actually shocked. This is very good. This this is much better than the previous version. It's probably better than the than all that's the best of the three. I think so. Sure. Nice effects, very, very space aged modern. Doesn't feel like shift gives me really a boost. I don't see that F does anything either. Alright. So those are our badgers. So the badger, what is that? Laugh track as your claw. Yeah, so, so it's the laugh track. That one is about the best. Second best, much worse. This one's much better, except it's sometimes off target. But, oh, the cannon was nice on that. And this is a whole different effect. Very nice. All right, the Rico is what you play standard. Let me just see. Does it help using the, the, doesn't feel like the space bar helps at all with this vehicle. Backwards is so slow, I swear the reverse they have to work on. The reverse on this thing feels horrible. And space bar doesn't feel like it does anything. So it's a totally different effect, but reverse is a nightmare on this thing. You never want to use reverse if you can help it. And then the standard. Left and right, right mouse, left mouse. It's like trying to kill a kill an elephant with a toothpick. Just doesn't feel like it's working. But there's some good things about it. You hit shift, you hit F. F should give you even bigger boost, so it's quite fast. It's just not nice when it bumps into stuff like plants and trees and things like if we were to hit this bunker oh, it actually feels okay on into the bunker but other trees and plants it just felt like mm, and you're turning your handling is oh so a bit atrocious sooner you can get away but you're gonna spend a lot of the beginning of the game in that thing if you play like me you should get those chests and get yourself out of there quickly let's try the second version it's just oh that gun look at that much so it does three quick shots and then it takes a while to reload. Alright. See how good they are. Uh, try and... I didn't destroy it. Oh, there we go. Three. Is it better? I don't know. Such a re... Look at this. What am I stopped against? What the frick? I'm stopped against the number 5,000. That is a weird bug. Oh, golly, I first have to turn myself around. But I mean, it's not bad. I don't know if this is better than the previous version. Maybe it's more damage. We can't really see the damage in this mode. Anyway. That's fine. Nice. I think these are a bit stronger. Let's try that. And you don't have to use all three straight away. You can go like fire, 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 recharge. Ah! I'm um, trying to be good, but that was quite bad. Nice. Let's try your brother. Right, loading all three. Alright. It's so-so. I like the the rocket booster effect. But spacebar has no effect with this one. X to get out. E to interact. So that was... The Rico and the Rico Red Eye.
cannon's okay. The recharge after your three shots is just a little long. Let's see what the Rico Ermine is like. Strange names. But yeah, usually things like this have strange names. It's a much bigger looking gun. Let's see how that is over here. Ooh. Constant. Oh, nice. That is lovely. No idea how much damage that does. But that is like a rail cannon beam. Let's see what it does here. Is it doing any damage? It doesn't look like it. Is this a bug? Oh, well, there you can see the health dropping. It looks like it does like a hundred. It's like a void ray from Stalker, and then it's out of power. I mean, that's not bad. It's probably the most powerful out of the three. I guess. It certainly doesn't feel as strong as that previous um, six-wheel vehicle. I'm sure this guy... I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. How's my power? Oh, and then F is rockets. Oh, it doesn't seem to work. It certainly isn't taking him down yet. What is to power up two? I'm hitting two. It doesn't really feel like it's doing anything. Anyway, that is the look for these uh, crappy little rocket tanks. I would say the previous tanks, the six, uh, the Badger felt stronger than this. This is more get in, get out quickly, do a little bit of a race, take out troops. That might be very good for taking out troops, the Ermine, well, all three of them. Let's see what a head, header does. Is it a header? Hater? Hater? Don't be a hater. Be a lover. Hater is gonna hate. Ooh, I actually like the look of this. A little bit of extra speed. Uh, it feels like Space Force is doing something. Alright, let's see. Backwards is again slow as can be. Frick. Don't ever go back. I, li I like the effect from when you go forward. Second shot, nothing. It doesn't look like it has a second fire. Only primary fire seems to be working. Let's see if I can... doesn't seem to be hitting. Huh, that's strange. Alright, so it's got this twin laser. It's not amazing. Looks like it does a lot of damage, like 500. Some damage feels good, I think. Not the best. I'd say the first one, the Badger, slid better damage, especially with its third version, even its second version. Let's see what our next version here of the... The Hater, the Hager... So, Hager, Hader 1, now let's go Hader 2. Sounds so much like Hater, Hader. You're a Hader, man. You're a Hader. You mustn't hate. <laughs> you must learn to love. How Elvis would say hate. You're a Hader. Whoa. Alright, so this is more artillery. This is just holding it in. Takes a while to load. How many was that? One, two. Gee, sometimes shoots. Is that like five? Ooh, that was a lot of damage. Shift for that little boost. I, I like how the nose goes up if you do that. Let's see. At least you have your second and your. All right, let's just try this. One, two. Woof. Looks like the damage on this is very good. Much better than the first one, but... Alright, it looks like I did hit that airplane, the last one. Right there. Too bad it doesn't tell us how much damage it was. I must say, this, this doesn't feel too bad. Just don't know which one of the two dots is the one that's... Anyway, that's enough of that. We are for mechs, not so much tanks, but let's get through everything. 
So this is the hater. What am I? Am I? What am I hitting there? All right, let's go around it if I can. Oh, frick! Sometimes you need reverse. Unfortunately, don't know what I'm hitting. All right, that it went over that pretty well. It didn't make the crash boom sound that the the badger made. So I believe that was the second version. This was the version two of the hater. Let's try hater four. Didn't we skip a hater three? All right, let's go for the hater four. Arr, that's a big gun. Does it have? It's got a second and a first. So your your left is, jeez, some kind of grenade launcher thing, and a very big cannon is your uh, right. So I'm going to try the cannon first, the right mouse button. Oh, it looks like I missed. That's that's terrible. That's not what. And that's also just do not use this one, the hater four, if you want to um, aim for something. Yes, it looks like there's a a mesh of numbers. Oh my word! This is just close range havoc. I would say the hater two is better than this. But I could be wrong. Did I take damage? I don't know. Looks like it. Looks like uh, some friendly fire injured me. And I can't shoot anymore. That's sad. Look at my armor. And I'm going so slow. Have I destroyed it? Alright. I was murdered by Mechman. Mechman, you bastard. How could you kill me? I thought we were buddies. I thought we were like one. No, not this stupid thing again. No serve. Huh? Alright, I will go as an engineer. No server available. Yeah. And now it's going to be doing that garbage the whole time. Alright, so... Hater one... Lady, will you shut up? Mm, I'm probably gonna have to sort this out. Just give me a sec guys. I'm gonna pause for a while Okay, I find every time I do the server I need to get out and back in so do not touch this bottom thing this bottom control Until oh look they're like monitors showing like all kinds of spaceships and things happening But don't touch this control When there isn't an alpha game on the on the you know, in progress, in progress. All right. So we looked at the, the badger looks like the best so far. Especially this one over here, the badger laugh track. These Ricos, mmm, I don't know. They're okay. Probably the song with the permanent laser, but it didn't feel as powerful. The hater, the hater 2 felt better than the hater 4 to me. Very, very mistargeting firing all, all over the place. And these poop little 2, no, no, I think the hater 2 was better. Raven, I haven't tried. So let's see what a F2 Raven is. And then a F2A1 Raven and a F2A2E1 Raven Stormcrow. Hmm. All right, so we'll start with the Raven. All right. Beautiful. Shift and that, and then to go into hover mode, holding shift, I think, still. Yeah, you have to re click shift, you can't just hold shift as you were doing and then back. So, S, so yeah, and now shift again, and there, and now you can just stay up here, and everything just melts. And just use missiles. Missiles are easier to... It just kills everything, missiles. Much easier. And trying to hit them with... Um, the lasers. Who's shooting at me? Frick. I can't see. Oh, there's some more. So the rockets are really good against infantry. The lasers... Uh, I don't know. I think just you just use the rocket spacebar to go higher. 
It's actually very easy to control this. I was worried it was going to be like Planet Side 2. Where controlling the aeroplanes is very difficult. Stream. Whoa, something's happening. Someone's shooting. Now shift back into hover mode. Lasers are good for um, dog fighting, it feels like. When you've got a bigger target. Not bad, not bad. I like this. So I must say, the Raven is not a bad aircraft. I mean, look at that. I can quickly come into hover mode. Nah, th this isn't too bad. This is easy to control. Shift back. Hey, hey! Frickin' hell! Alright, there it wasn't very responsive. But still, uh, this is much easier to control than Planet Side 2. Also, we want to repair a bit. Let's have a look. Going to the repair bay. Up a bit. Up a bit. Ah, uh, up a bit more. Come on. Oh, jeez. I can just barely get into this repair bay. Good. Don't say I didn't bring it back to you without a scratch in the condition I found it. Because I took it for repairs. And we'll just exit the vehicle here. Very nice. I actually like the Raven. Can I get to the next one? Raven A1. F2 A1 Raven. So let's see how this compares. Oh, more heat. Feels exactly the same to me. Is there a difference? Alright, looks like I'm locked on to something. So shift and back into hover mode. Very nice. Is this any different? Feels exactly like the other one to me. And it looks like my missiles are heat seeking. Huh. Okay. Whoa! Mother! Alright, well, the shields are all that got fragged a bit. That'll recover in no time. Let's get out. I really don't know. That, that felt exactly the same. So if we look, this is health regen, shield burst, and energy burst. This says nano repair. Maybe it's healing the whole time. Huh. Health regen, shield regen, and energy. And this one, ooh, relentless assault. All right, let's try the A2E1. Let me just pause a sec. Someone's calling me. Okay, guys, I was busy for a while. Had a telephone call and then a lot of other stuff. Where was I? I was trying to see what the difference between these ravens were and this one just suddenly died. I left it here and I deployed and just died. So let's see. Missiles on the first. Lasers. That feels exactly the same as the other two. What is the difference? Releasing shift, shift and back. Hover mode. I do not see the difference between any of these. Unless the lasers are just more powerful or something. Let's go back a bit. Yeah. Really, I see little difference between any of these. Whoa. One shot. Get a little closer. All right. Whoa. Is this delay lag? Let's see normal shots. Let's get a little higher. Okay. Back control down a bit. I don't even see it showing that. That's weird. Oh, 
targeting on this thing is atrocious. I'm, I mean, I'm aiming yeah, and then I see the damage on this one. I aim on it. Nothing. How the hell does that work? Missiles? Don't see anything from the lasers, though. I have to aim above it to see the lasers hit it. Look at that. I actually have to aim above. Uh, I don't know. This needs work, guys. They really need to work on that. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Alright. I have to... Up. Shift. Ba what? No! Let's try space bar E. E. Forward a bit. Space bar. Let's see if I can get up here. Good. E. Back in. Space bar up. Good. Mm, tank. Wish I could... Anyway, I don't see much difference between all three ravens. All three look about the same to me. Maybe the guns are slightly more powerful or something. Who knows? It's going to require more tasting. Woo! But, uh, yeah. Raven's okay. It's not that hard to control if you can learn that hit shift and backwards if you want to go into hover mode again. That, that's the big secret to this. Or you just click shift. You don't even have to click back. So you just click shift. So forward. You go fast. You don't even have to click shift. Alright, so shift is into hover mode. So shift isn't for speeding up. You just click forward. Oh, shift and forward. And then hit shift on its own again. And it goes into hover mode. Oh, that's how it works. Well, at least now I know. So when you, you're in hover mode, you can click forward, it's not going to change, but you hit shift and forward. So I just added shift to it and it went into this. Now you decide, ooh, I'm going to hover here, yeah, there's an enemy, just hit shift, nothing else. So yeah, I'm going to go forward and hit shift. Now I'm releasing everything and just hitting shift. And there I'm in hover mode. And now... Look at these lasers. I have to aim way up here just so I can hit with the lasers. Then come back down and hit with the missiles which don't want to lock on this target. How do I get it to lock on this? Stop locking on that. What are they locked onto? Is there a key for locking? Toggle menu, jump, movement, inventory, presets, sensitivity. Enter it. Lock on. Middle mouse button. Okay, okay. Let's try that. Look at this X right here. Why isn't it a little X over here? Guys, move this over here. This is ridiculous. And don't put this there. Yeah. All right, let's try. Middle mouse. I'm hitting middle mouse. And it, it doesn't look like it's locking on. No, doesn't look like it's working for the lock-on, so, I think. But as you can see, I have to aim with a lower two for when I'm hitting a mech. So I can't aim with a main, I have to take it higher and aim with a lower. And the aim doesn't feel quite great. But alright, Raven's okay. Just know how to, um... Hover mode, so shift to go back into hover mode, forward and shift to go into the uh, flight mode, whatever. So forward and shift into jet mode and release everything, hit shift alone and you go into hover mode. All three of them, they feel exactly the same to me. I don't see missile shooting, but it felt like missiles. They feel exactly the same. Alright, let's see what a rock is like. Deploy the rock. Oh, that's... Oh, what, why am I not moving? Forward? Look at this. 
All right, maybe I was... I don't know. Is it, is it just this, the mesh on this thing? What the hell? I never shot you. E. Rock. Deploy. Let's get in it. Oh, golly. Maybe my field of view is too much. Let's see if I get out there. All right, good. I might have set it too high. I think it's quite pretty. What is that? It's more like a bomber. Oh, I like its laser. So again, just shift to go back to hover mode. And shift, to, so shift changes modes. Hover mode, flight mode. Hover mode, flight mode. Oh no! This thing is like tissue paper. Jeez. I th it looks like it can take damage, but it can't take anything. It is like tissue paper, that rock. It is not a rock. It is a tissue paper. They shouldn't have called it rock. They should call it tissue. It's fake. It's a rock made from, from tissue paper and glue. All right, let me in. Frick, I can't even move. E, E. What the hell is going on here? E, I can't even get close to it. Bloody mosquito attacking me and there it just blows up for no reason. Let's see if we can get into the rock from this side. B20 rock. Deploy. In the rock. Oh golly. I'm trying to navigate my way. Alright. Seems I'm facing. There we go. Shift. Gonna have to be much more precise. It would be nice if, if they added a zoom. Still, I mean, l look how this bounces around. I'm relatively keeping it steady, but this is jumping around so much. Alright, well I did kill the guy. Alright, well I'm able to hit these little men from so far away, so that's not too bad. Accuracy isn't too terrible. But I mean, look how... It does feel like it moves a bit much. Ooh, that's a nice explosion. Explosion. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is freaking taking... Alright, again. Might also be a bit of lag. Because I didn't see I was being shot at until I was half dead. Lag is always not fun. And then they say, you're a bad player. And you go, it's the lag. No, you're just looking for excuses. Alright, let's try the B20A1 rock in comparison. E. Let's hope we can... Ah, good. See if this one's a bit better. So when it says hover mode, I mean flight mode. Shift to change back is what they mean. Ooh, this is missiles instead of the big bomb that the other one was dropping. Oh no, it still has the big bomb. Instead of the lasers, it's now got rockets. Which might be good. There we go. Let's drop the big... What? I thought this big bomb would have... Freaking hell! One, two. Am I gonna die again? It looks like it. Boom, you're dead. This sucks beyond belief. And and the bomb wasn't killing anything. So far, I hate the rock. The rock sucks. The rock Johnson is gonna kick your asses if, they fo if he finds out you guys named this plane after him. Let's try the rock B20A2. I must say, so far, the rock is the worst thing could just be the lag giving me the bad experience so still the big bomb shift more of a machine gun
But I would say the Raven is better than this thing. Look at that, look at my health just dropping. Did I kill it? One, two, three, doesn't help at all. I would say the Raven was much better than this. And that bomb really doesn't... Oh, frick. Look at how bad my health is. This is completely a scout plane. Do not use it to engage. It's garbage. This is a garbage plane. The rock is crap, in my opinion. It looks pretty, but frick. Made of tissue paper. Maybe it's the lag. I don't know. But this has not been a good experience. I am going to leave the rock here. And it seems to have such a freaking huge box around it. I can't even get past... I have to jump jet over it. It's like... No, there's something fundamentally wrong with this thing. Guys, That you need to work on this. I can't even land. Is, is its box taking up all of this? What the frick? It's like its box comes all the way up to here. No wonder I was getting hit from so far away. All right, the Elkanost is one I did play with, and it was pretty good, I thought. Let's see. Oh, much better. Yeah, that's nice. Let's see what weapons we're working with. Yeah, so it's all lasers. Very Buck Rogers. I like it. Rockets are a bit better, so may maybe the Raven is better. But I must say, that is pretty good. That That's not bad at all. Jeez, these lasers are better than... No, the Elkanost is good. This This is pretty good. I can't say this is bad. Who's shooting at me from where? There's some guys. I mean, what is it with the targeting on this thing? It's like either too low, too high. It's like it doesn't want to cooperate. But I mean, look, at least I survived. If I could... Survived until I flew into the wall. Hit the... What do you call it? Too quickly. What did it say? Taken out by wall? But the Alkanost is much better than the rock. Much, 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 be much, much, much grande. All right, let's let's try it one more time, the normal one with the lasers, and then we'll try this. So this is the F12, then we'll try the F12A, and then the F12B. Go closer. At least it doesn't have the mesh issues I've got with um, the rock. Oh, the rock was horrible. Very nice, nice and nimble. Where are they? Just there, my shields are gone. I can't see what's shooting me yet. Let's go a little closer. Shields regenerating a bit. Who's shooting at me? Some guys spawning. Weird. I mean, look how the thing's all over the place. But, I mean, it has. Doesn't have a second fire, only has the first fire, it seems. And now it's not shooting. Shoot! And finally, it's shot. So, I mean, this is not a bad jet. I like it. I think it's good. The Raven, the Ravens may be a bit better with its missiles for cr taking out groups of guys. So maybe the Raven is actually a better bet. If doesn't do anything, not in this mode. But yeah, I don't mind this one. It's actually it's definitely everything's better than the Rock. So far, the Rock is the worst one. Slapped by Scout. I got slapped by a wall. And I'm the one who slapped the wall. And the wall slapped back and slapped me to death. So still, it takes a bit... a while. Oh, F instead of E. Um, Alright, let's try version 2.
be the F12A Alkanost. I thought the Alkanost would be better than the Raven. I think the Raven may be better. What does this one have? Ooh. Slightly different laser, not these three that the other one had. Alright. You can see how it is. Don't know if I. Oh, laser is good. Oh, and he's got missiles. Now that makes a big difference. Missiles is the way to go. Down a bit. I don't know, these. I don't get it. Something is wrong with. Something is weird with the targeting on these things. Missiles are good. And look how easy it is to kill, guys. My health might be a little low, but... It's so easy to kill guys with this. And to get killed. I mean, they're behind the wall and I'm killing them. Let's see if we go a bit higher. Take me higher. Three guys dead, just like that. So, with the missiles, this is excellent. Let's see if I can stop before I get myself killed again. Back, back. <laughs> Barely. Alright, I want to repair it. But I would say the A is definitely an improvement since you get the missiles with it. Let's go control. Yeah, there my armor is restoring. So as I'm told, the armor is what an engineer is for. Your shields will restore over time, the health will restore over time, but the armor only an engineer can restore. Or of course a healing bay like this one. I'm sure surely a medic doesn't restore the health of a craft. Um, okay. Let's get out of that. Uh, it's not bad. Between it and the raven, I'm not sure. I like it a little bit more because it's smaller. Let's see how the Ulcan... This is the B, right? It's very, very fast. What does it use as weapons? This well, whatever it used, it's taking a while. I'm gonna try. Alright, it's, it's using this stupid bomb thing. Alright, I would say this one is not that great. Whoa! Well, it does a lot of damage. Maybe it isn't too bad. It's like a, a big bomb. Might have its uses. Ah, uh, that, I mean... Hmm. See how this does in a dogfight? I don't think you can use this... Wonderful. Went into hover mode, but I keep flying right into the enemy. Ugh. That was unpleasant. Kamikaze. That used to be my nickname. And it was because, um... I wear very thick glasses, and when I take them off, and I can't see you, I come kamikazing into you. And I'm not the smallest guy. So about a hundred kilograms kamikazing into you. Oh well, I missed with that. No! Slapped by light. <laughs> Who comes up with the term slapped? Sounds very British. Is this what the young kids are saying? Is this their slang? You young'uns. Alright, let's try. The B I don't like. I'd say the A is better. I don't like this bomb. It, it, the missiles are just more versatile. Bombs like, if you miss, you're in huge trouble. Honestly! Now... Oh, jeez. F! No, no, no. You have to get too close with a bomb. Definitely not. 
So yeah, that that pretty much sucks for me. I I don't like. I can try it one more time. But I would say the Alkanost B. No, thank you. Some people might. If you can sneak up on the enemy and drop a big bomb, maybe. But it also feels like the hover mode. Sometimes it disengages quickly. Right? I mean, did that really do so much damage? I don't think it did that much damage. Oh my word, forget it. I hate it. No, I hate it. Do not go... I will not be going for the Elkanos to be. That was just garbage. So, let's see. Um... Don't like it. Alkanost A, very cool. I think this is the best one. That one's okay. It's the one I went for. And, uh, yeah, I prefer with the missiles. Missiles make a huge... Not the rock. Stay away from the rock, but the raven. Raven's good. So I'd say raven normal is better than your normal Alkanost. I actually went for the Alkanost in the, in the multiplayer alpha test. So I actually think the raven is a better buy than the Alkanost, but the Alkanost A is is the best. That would be my first choice. And then all three Ravens felt exactly the same. So I'd say that would be my first, any of the Ravens second, and then the Alkanost that. And this would be close, just, just above a rock, because the rock was garbage. But it's like the rocks. All right, let's try a Zypher. Finally to the mechs. Our namesake, Mech Man, is finally being a Mech Man. So... Very much a crappish walker, like the jump jets on spacebar. Ooh, permanent laser. Jeez, that feels like good damage. Alright, not shooting now. Second? Oh, second's missiles. Okay. So your second shot, bunch of missiles. First shot. Is the laser doing anything? Looks like only if I hit his legs. If I hit his torso, nothing. That's bad. Only when I hit the legs. What's going on here? Not, not all missiles hit. And then... Probably as cloaking as number four isn't working here. Alright, so that's... And let's jump jet over there. That's alright. And it probably has the speed boost for its F. Fast mech, you have to slow down to do a turn properly. It's alright, not great. But better than a tank. Let's try, so that's the V1, let's try the V2. Ooh. Nice with a missile silo thingy on the head oh it looks like I've got more like what is that oh it's more like a cannon shot unfortunately this thing on his head actually is in your field of view I actually think um, it might be strong but I think the other one was for me better. Yes, so now, now I'm waiting. Now I have to run around. And... No. Let's see. No. Is the second just a bunch of missiles? I can't see what's happening with this bunch. Is that a laser or is it missiles? It's a laser. It's a laser and it takes very long. No, I would say you're better off with the previous version. This one, not so great. And this thing on the head, the camera needs to be a bit higher. Do not like it. Do not like this mech. No, I would not be using, I would not go for the V2. The V1 feels better to me. Let's see what the V3 is like. V2 definitely needs some work. That thing on the head is just in the way. Can't see what you're doing. 
What was that? That was our left. Let's go for right. It's like this is a laser. Again, the thing on the head is a bit in the way. I wish they would just lift the camera a little. Alright, so this is like a three shot cannon. I like the laser. It's good. Um, the thing on the head is in the way, not as badly as the other. I'd still prefer the first one because this on the head is actually getting in the way of my targets. I'm not going to be able to nicely see the enemy with this thing on the head. I mean, that's where I want to shoot and this thing's almost in the way. I don't know. I don't know which one I like more out of the two. It's difficult. It looks cool, but... Neither one of, none of these would be my favorite. But I think for this kind of mech, you don't need firepower. You just need some kind of zippy thing that can get in, take out infantry. I'm not going to be trying to take out bigger mechs with this. I've tried and it didn't end well for me. I was on the guy, well, you'll see, you can see it in the video. Uh, the war dog. I think I've tried, tried, no, have I tried the war dog before? Let's see what it's like. So that was the version 3. It's between the version 1 and the 3 with the Zypher, but I don't really like any of them. War Dog, let's see what the War Dog's like. Oh, I think these are actually War Dogs that we're up against. Whoa, that's a lot of damage, but I might have softened him up. Jeez, no, the war dog is strong. Seems like I'm out of ammo. Look, I haven't even gone through its shields yet. All of that now, I've only barely scratched its shields. But the war dog's not bad. Its F seems to be a heal better than the others but yeah no I can't complain war dogs okay I think the Shiva's better but we'll see that was very strong so that is the Choka war dog let's try the Choki war dog from Winslow the British war dog the British what is it pitbull or no British um, bulldog so Winston Churchill will call this one the Winston. The British Bulldog Winston Churchill. What did it shoot? I just heard Kapshu. Alright, continuous fire, that's nice. Yo. Is it doing anything? Yeah. Oh golly, what is that? Oh, let me guess. It's got this blade that it shoots out and retracts. I hate this weapon. This weapon's garbage. See, it's, it's not doing anything. No, this weapon is utter garbage. It's like a blade that shoots out and pulls back. The weapon doesn't work, in my opinion. See? Nothing. See it poking at him? Absolute garbage. But it might also be that only if we had shoot at the legs do we do damage. And it's shooting above the legs. So guys, you need to work on this uh, blade weapon. It's garbage. And you need to work on your aiming. Which is too controlled. And, well, maybe it's because um, it can't adjust that 
like your second one can go down, but that one it stays up. Ugh, it's no. The Winston is garbage. So do not bother with the Winslow War Dog. This normal War Dog is much better at this stage. Let's try the one with the mis missiles. Is this the Chili War Dog or the Gilly? I prefer calling it the Chili. But it looks like a G, that. Yeah, Gilly. The Gilly Chili. So there's our Winston Churchill and there is our Chili Dog. So let's see how the Chili Dog does. Ooh, I like the missiles. Chili dog looks good. Hot and spicy, baby. Ooh. Nice. Ooh, very hot and spicy. So you have to be careful. So left is... Hey, where are you shooting? Uh, sometimes you'll miss. So you want to be up close. What the hell is it targeted on that? Oh god. That was nice and slow. Don't know why. What the heck is going on with the computer now? Is it the game or the computer? And then it's a while to reload again. Mm. The reload time's a bit of a problem and this sudden slowness. I don't know what's causing everything to suddenly slow down so terribly. I don't think I started anything. Unless my hard disk's getting full. Don't think so. Come on! Jeez, it's like it slows down when it's locking on. Look at that. It's only when I'm locking on that, that it slows down. Alright, let's go back because I, I think it's a bug with this mech. Looks like whenever this mech logs on, then. You see, no, now there's no slowdown. Alright, there is something wrong with this mech's lock on. So the programmers need to look on that because something is badly optimized there. So the chili is killing my machine. It's too much chili dog for my computer. Ah, this is one I was interested. The one which reminds me of Robotech's, um, ooh, potty thingies. That is cool looking. I like this. What is this called? I'm going to have to recheck the name. Like the feel. Cool. This is very different to the others. Again, the thing on the head's a bit in the way. It's got these lasers which you have to keep hitting every now and then. They suck. The one gun is good, the number of the left mouse. But just look how long it takes to charge. It takes too long to charge. Nah. Nah, I hate the guns on this thing. The walking looks a little stiff, a little Frankenstein-ish. I like the shape of the legs, but the animation needs work. The animation looks just too stiff. Mm -mm. I think they need to just look at the, the walking animation, fix that a bit. So it is the Hellcat. So that is the, the, the HDR 04F Hellcat. Now we will try the HDR 05 AA, like AA batteries Hellcat. Uh, I like the Gatling gun. Let's see what it's got. Also the missiles on top. Alright, it's... Why are you locked onto that thing? Yeah, this is much better. Continuous fire. Like it. It's supposed to be middle mouse for lock-on. Nope. Let's see if we can change the lock on. Input. Aim. Right mouse button. Something was lock on. Middle mouse. Um, I'm going to put L for lock. Should be a bit easier. Yes. Let me try L. If I go L. Ah, it looks like it works. My, maybe my middle mouse is just not working. Yeah, that's much better. Let me see if I can do it for both middle mouse and maybe L key. So lock, middle. Looks like my middle mouse isn't working maybe. Maybe it's just different. 
Mouse wheel down. No, 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 no. We don't want that. Go for lock. Maybe uh, another mouse key. Jeez, now everything's mouse button too. Not just that one. No, exit. No! What the hell? Everything is... Let's just default it. All right, instead of middle mouse, I'm going to make it thumb mouse button. Okay, good. Don't use this. Something screwed up with that side. Thumb mouse button. All right. So locked. Missiles. Nice. Let's lock it. Oh, very nice. I like this one. So locked. Now I can fire anywhere. Nice. Oh, this is a good make. This is much better. Good weapons. Nice with a lock on. Oh, lovely. So you hear that beeping is supposed to be the lock on. Nice. Let's try some more lock ons. Nice. Look at that. Oh, good. Oh, that's going to make it so cool. This feels like a good make to me. This is a good make. For a smaller make, I think this one is excellent. I don't know how small it is, but yeah, this configuration. So the double A battery, Hellcat. The Hellcat that comes with double A batteries is just better. So if you can get a Hellcat in your life and give her some double A batteries, it's just gonna be better for you. Take that anyway, you won't. Some people might need to pray for me for deliverance. So that is it. Hellcat Double A Hawker. Oh, Hawker. Another name for a street woman. The Hellcat Hawker with the Double A batteries. That one is pretty good. So that's a good way to remember it. Let's see with a bigger cannon. The Hellcat Hellhunter. Hell hath no fury like a Hellcat scorned. Oh, those are nice. Oh, so, all right, no, no missiles. But the accuracy is fantastic. I would still say maybe the double A is better. I feel like I've run out of too much power. Chew. Main gun takes a lot of power. Still haven't brought the enemy down. The missiles would have brought them down. Still hasn't taken it down. That sucks. What is that? Is that armor? Maybe. Maybe that white is armor. And now I'm eating into the health. This takes very long for it to recharge. So your green is your laser, which you're waiting to have recharge. And now the guns also. Yeah, now you're waiting. Now you wait. Mm -mm. I would say your double A, your street woman is better. The Hell Hunter isn't as good as the street woman double A battery hawker. Okay, so out of these, the middle one was for me the best. So the Hellcat Hawker, 
double A battery is better than the Hell Hunter scorned. So yeah, I would choose this one with the missiles. Definitely the best out of the three. Let's see. So the Itashi mongoose. Oh, I love mongoose. I I I, I saw mongoose plural. I saw a guy who actually had a had a one in his car with a huge burble. Mongoose was so cool. They were like at the window. Hello, who are you? So curious. And next thing, this dog starts jumping against the window. Like, oh, if it breaks the car's window, I'm probably gonna have to pay for it. Oh, very nice. Very nice. I like this. Oh, Zephyr feels strong. And the Shiva's... No, the Itashi is good. This feels good. Right. Bit long between firing. Let's see if I can lock on. Nice. No, it feels very strong. Four. But it's a bit long between firing shots. And uh, no energy weapons. I think it would be nice if I had some energy weapons. I don't like the time between shots. Yeah, no, there was a lot of wasted time between shots and... Doesn't look like those are heat-seeking missiles. Or are they? Nice. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like it does have heat-seeking missiles. And then a few cannons. Oh, that was like six heat-seeking missiles. It's not bad. It's not bad. Little bit long between f shots, but, but I think this is a good mech. Also, with the wide arms and legs, it feels very different from the others. Very fast. Feels like a fast mech. No, I think the, uh, that, that's a good mech. The Itashi. Itashi's, the Itashi Mongoose, not too bad. A little long between shots, let's see what the... Stoat! I think they misspelled it, it should have been goat. Stoat. Actually, when a boy is naughty in Afrikaans, they say he's stoat. You stoatakant! You snorty little boy! It sounds so wrong. I like girls. I like women, not girls, women. So, I would not say, yo stota, yeah, that sounds more manly, yo stota sien. Not you stota sien, that sounds so, mm-mm, wrong. But, if you say, you naughty girl, behave, Austin Powers. Jeez, this feels good. This mostly missiles, feels very strong. Little bit of a delay between shots. It feels good. Jeez, and it brought that down. This is not bad. Brought down that spider mech not too, didn't take too long. So the Stotakunt, the stout, the Itashi stout, feels a bit better than the mongoose. Mongoose had a bit delay in shooting. I think this is a better one. The naughty boy, as we'll translate him. This felt like a good mech. No, that is not bad. That was good. Let's see, so that's the stout. As in Stotakant, as somebody's calling. One sec. Okay, and we're back. So, Tashi Stout is a bit better than the Mongoose, I think. Let's see how the Polcat does. Those are interesting looking guns. No missiles. Polcat. You think a pole dancer, but this means skunk. Why don't they just say skunk, Polcat? I think a Polcat is the same thing as a skunk, isn't it? I should check that. Alright, oh it does have missiles, it does have missiles. Right, let's see if we can lock on. That's a laser. Ooh. I don't know. This thing's in the way again. 
That's just a problem. Jeez, it's powerful. It doesn't look like it has missile. No, it's not missiles. You see how it's in the f way? People, move the camera higher if you're gonna put this crap on the head. Or at least when I'm moving. But then, also, your firing is a bit off. I had to shoot a little bit to the left there. What's going on here with the target? Sorry guys, from here on out the audio gets screwed up a bit. It's like the mechs suddenly start making louder noise, being louder than my voice. Uh, I don't feel like refilming this, so I hope you can tolerate it. Sorry about it. Maybe I can do a repeat sometime of the mechs. Draining energy. Look at that. That's, I don't even see that my green went down. How's this one? Yeah, my green's going down. I can do that. No, that's okay. Do I have another on top of it? It just feels like they're a bit far apart. F. If I hit F, nothing. So it's not working now. So you do have like the third shot with the missile. So this might be good. So I don't know. I don't know if I like that. I think I might. Like, I think the other guy would have destroyed him already. Maybe. So I think the stoat, the naughty boy, he stoked it again. The naughty child. Better than this. Um, like how long is this been taking me? Yeah, no. uh, I don't know. I'd say this is second best. I like this purple laser a lot. I don't like the permanent laser also, but I think uh, I think the stout is better than, than this one. Uh, what is this? The polecat, the skunk. The skunk does stink a bit, this polecat stinks a bit. Oh, I like the legs. This, that is nicely animated. Good job with that, guys. Very nice. Nicely animated legs and feet. I must say, I like that. Alright, so with these, I would say the stout, which is almost like goat, or gatote, stout. Is the best. What is this? A um, Majolner. Majolner. The Mark One Majolner. Let's see what the M6. Look at that. What part of the M's missing? M6 KT Mark One Majolner. Let's see. And then there's a Thunder Gun and a Rayco. But let's try the standard Majolner. Be nice if you. Ooh, all right, there I'm in already. Strange looking make. I like it actually. Very different looking from the others. Similar in many ways. Alright, so it, it, number two is this funny laser. It's supposed to have missiles with F, which we can't use. It feels a little weak. Too weak, but now I've run out of ammo. Now I have to wait. Come on. Jeez, it was like one shot away. Yeah, I don't know. It just feels a little bit weak, this, compared to what I played previously. I'm not that impressed with this version. Maybe if I had the missiles. But I, uh, the design is so different, I do like it. The previous ones, lower legs were better. These upper legs are pretty cool. So, yeah. The Itachi I preferred a bit more. Let's see how the Thunder Gun works. I like things with lightning. So, I might like the Thunder Gun. Oof. Yeah, those are very different to the previous one. They're good. But I like the round ones. Of the, oh, again, this thing's in the way. You're truly seeing what you're doing. More like a camera. Whoa. Yeah, no, that's not gonna help for long range. 
feels a bit slow. The touchy feel a lot faster and actually stronger to me. And it's a little hard with the use. I mean, your second gun, you know, you're going to use this. We go to the speeder box down there. Gee, I feel this is too slow. It feels almost like the speed of a of a Shiva, but it doesn't feel as good as a Shiva. No, I'm not very impressed with this one. Doesn't feel powerful enough. Do I prefer this or the previous version? Both feel a bit weak. I think the previous version, at least I could use the second shot. Look at this. Oh! No. Now it's... Freaking heck, that is slow. Something needs to be optimized there. Oh my word, what's going on? Why is it so slow? No, that's terrible. That, I don't know why. Something is causing this to slow down. Alright, let me stop looking at the mix. It's like with the targeting system or something. Maybe it's... No, I'm not going to bother. If it's slowing the machine down for no reason. I don't know what is causing that, but there's some optimi optimization issue with all those mix uh, over there when I was close to them I don't know what was causing that but also all right so that is a rocket let's see lock on lock on doesn't it look like it flew up toward it just now now it doesn't look like a rocket now it looks like a flare mm, I'm not impressed I'm not enjoying this man On with. Why am I struggling to move over here? I just want to see what the flare weapon does up close. I'm gonna try the cannons. So far I'm missing, but also that's in the way the whole time. Camera. C. Uh, it's fine. Right, so there I hit. Ooh, something that takes so long to recharge. It doesn't feel like it does a lot of damage. Did that do anything? It's two cannons shoot well, but they're difficult to make sure you're on target, especially when you can't see what you're doing with this thing. Ugh. Please, guys, move the camera higher. So, no, this mech is a no for me. I am not impressed. That, that was disappointing. The Thunder Gun, don't like it. So, the Majolner is not the mech that I don't enjoy it. I don't think it's, it just doesn't feel nice. It looks good, but it doesn't play well. Alright, what are these guns like? I like those first round guns, the look of the first round guns. Uh, this also, there's a lot of, um, you call it recoil for these guns. So I'm gonna have to do this from far away. Ooh, a lot of missiles. Just look how they come down as flares. Alright, let's see. Ooh, that was a lot of damage. And that was just all over the place. Did that hit everything except the intended target? Jeez, that's crap. Like they lock on. I don't like the missiles. They have been too much all over the place. The lasers are okay. Just don't know how often I can be shooting. Especially with this thing on the head getting in the way of seeing where you are. And every time you have to come down in position and you can't see past this. Turret thing on the head, what just just so bastard. But then also my name's in the way, Mechman. I don't need to see Mechman, I need to see the enemy. I know who I am, you don't have to tell me. No, no, that, this, this make me to be good. Definitely, I'm not a huge fan. Rockets need to be heat seeking. Yeah. 
I like the rounded things that were on top of the first one's laser, so the design of the first one was the best for me. I don't know which one plays well. That may, This one maybe played better than the others. Second one was terrible. Ugh. This felt weak. This felt as if I wasn't able to hit and this, yeah, it's just got issues. The Glaive. This is one I could unlock. I haven't unlocked it yet. Jeez, it looks massive. Look at this thing. Again. Looks a bit top heavy. Ooh. Ooh, I like it. Oh, I do like it. Similar actually to the previous one, which just plays so much better. It just has a good marble that's still missing. Whoa, it actually hit. I thought I'd missed. But I, look at that. One shot high, one shot low. That doesn't make sense. Right, let's jump jet. It's freaking heavy. It's struggling with the jump jets. This is a fatty. The glaive. It doesn't feel terrible. That out easily enough. He makes it down here and I think he's spoon jet. Pretty dead center and still one high, one low, no in here. Shooting on either side of the target, that's garbage. Long range, this is garbage. Well, I did take that jet with it. Still not. Getting more and more disappointed with it now. Now I don't have that issue like just now with the other mech. Jeez, but I must say, the second shot actually isn't that inaccurate. Doing quite a few hits. There. Just waiting a little bit of time between the hits. Actually, doing the second shots much more than the first. There we go, a couple of seconds in. Look at that, brought him down. Very similar, I think, to the shield attack. Pretty good. A little bit on the fat heavy side, but <laughs> strong. Surprisingly strong. Maybe many makes. I don't know, are they really that different? I don't know if they're different enough. body seems a bit big, but I can't flow it on how it plays. It plays much better than the previous, a lot of the previous ones, not all of them. I'm not sure what I would favor. But this wouldn't be one of my favorites, but it's not bad. I wouldn't mind it. Oh, it just feels slow and fat though. But I might consider this. Oh golly, where is our base? Oh, I'm heading the wrong way. That's why the map is often good. Just to check where you are. Wish I could see how much damage I was doing. It's just its first shot is absolutely garbage. From a distance. Close by. This is definitely like a shotgun mech. We're gonna be close-ish close to the enemy. I don't know how long we'll survive a spider mech attack. Oh, almost! Yes! So I think he did well. Yeah, that thing took a bit damage. It's almost dead. She reminds me of the Shiva. Not a 
bad mech, not bad at all. One of the... I wouldn't say it's the best, but it's far better than a lot of the others. So was that... which glaive was that now? Was that this glaive? Just check it. Yeah, it's got the big things on the top. What were those? Oh, those, those are the two cannons. Those weren't such great guns. Yeah, so those ga cannons at the top aren't that great. So let's try the... That's the normal NJ41 glaive. This is a NJ41 IT. I'm in IT, so maybe it'll be better for me. And that is what? Ant girl. At gear. At gear. All right, so... Make sure you put it in the right gear. large volley of almost like shotgun inside. But instead of those other cannons, this also takes a while. Now you've got this which feels like a flamethrower. It doesn't feel much different from the other ones. Maybe it doesn't shoot as far or something. That doesn't look great, eh? Flamethrower, nah. I wouldn't say this is much better than the previous one, the at gear version. Slip your jump cheats so though, that's good. But yeah, I like the that one's not much different. I think this is more range and this is maybe more shotgun, I don't know. So the pole axe, this is the one that you can play in the Multiplayer, I didn't build it yet. So let's see how the pole X glaive or aren't they the same thing in a way? It's like naming something twice. Uh, I have a cat wanting attention. Yes, Annabelle. I will stroke you. But I need that hand. Oh, Alright, sorry guys, trying to, and there she wants to sleep on the second laptop, not good. Close that down. Alright, so, first shot is these lasers. A bit of delay between them. So you no longer have your, now you only have lasers. Nah, I think this is worse, this feels weaker. This does not feel great. I think I would choose the previous ones over this. Just though that felt strong, I did kill it, but it's a, it's a weak little vehicle. It feels like the lasers are a bit far out of out of each other. We're almost spider this. Is spider make lazy on him? It's just gonna be almost nothing. Shield the thing. It's gonna be armor. We're not doing anything. Oh, it's actually quite strong. This is surprisingly strong. Alright, I don't know. I'm already out of power. And now I'm just a sitting duck. But yeah, when you've got power, it's pretty strong. This isn't too bad. I could it's difficult, it's a completely different load out of weapons. What are these things that are just load out of weapons? And the two lasers are a bit far apart. And I don't like being able to see through the mech as I'm seeing through it, but you know, it's maybe interesting. It's like it's like an onion. It's it's got layers inside of layers, the onion mech. Feels a bit faster now. Uh, there we are. I don't think they mix it done too badly. It's pretty good. This is. Uh, I, th I don't think this is a bad game. Uh, a lot of potential, yeah. And this is still alpha. It's pretty good. The glaive pole axe. I don't know. I'll call it the onion. 
Um, I like the shotgun missiles and the layer. If, if only you could have both, the best of both worlds. Like, keep those still and add these lasers. So I'd like a combination of these two. The Etta girl or Et gear, the Et gear. No. So I prefer these lasers with the missiles of both of these. But which ones? I mean, they look. I thought they worked the same. The normal glaive missiles and the at gear missiles they felt the same but here i see they're quite different all right yeah we were the shiva and this is the one everybody recommends i don't know which one we were playing let's try the normal shiva first everybody's like use the shiva use the shiva i think this is the shiva we have. yeah there's a bunch of missiles yeah that feels good oh very powerful That does. It feels like it's a bit short. Look how quickly it killed it. Jeez! That's strong. Jeez, the Shiva is a monster. Look at that! That is a fucking monster. The Shiva is a monster. Many might say this is your best mech. I don't know how it compares to a spider. Let's see how that is. Maybe one of your more affordable. Uh, I feel like I'm missing. And I can't really go higher. Now the mix in the way. Alright, let's target next one. Come in here, it fires. Bang it blank in the sky with them. Is there anything there anymore? Oh, it's gone. Let's try without targeting. Targeting? Oh, it looks like oh, it's gone. It melted, so the sheet was pretty good. So I think this is supposed to be one of the best. Just see how it stacks up against the spiders. A lot of guys were recommending this to me when we were playing the alpha. Well, the guys. That's a lot of guys. Yeah, I felt like three or four guys were recommending me. Shiva, Shiva, Shiva. And look at all this fire. I'm even using any energy. So all that saved up. Yeah, no, Shiva is tremendously powerful. Shot. Frick, is a spider gonna stand up against this thing? It's not the fastest, but it's not that slow. I chased down a guy in a Shiva with a smaller mech. What was it? I was shooting him in the back and he's like, where am I getting shot from? Where am I getting shot from? He was almost dead and then he just turned around and he just shot me with us and I was dead. I was like, mm. Which you could see in the video earlier. Combine everything. Was it a trunk tron or something? Try the next version of the Shiva out, but the Shiva is pretty good. Is it called the Shiva because it's almost got like four arms? But I guess all of them had like those lasers. I don't like what it's named after, but it's a good mech. Let's see what the next one is. So that was the normal Shiva. This is the Shiva. Gandiva, Shiva Gandiva, the Shiva Giva, <laughs> the Shiva Gun Diva. That would have been better if it was Gun instead of Gan. Oh, the Shiva Gun Diva. I like that. It's a Diva with a gun. The Shiva Diva, the Shiva Gun Diva. Let's see how we do here. Looks like rockets. Oh, those 
Whoa, that died quickly. Maybe the heat seeking is good. Doesn't feel too long between reloads. I don't know which one I like more. Flippin' heat! Alright, let's see with the spider how long it takes to die. Feels pretty good, this. A little bit of a reload, but not too long. Like, I'm constantly able to do damage. No, this is good. This is a good mech. I don't know which one I like more. It's very difficult. I'd probably go for this one rather because I like the more precise attacks. Especially when guys are very far away. I like shooting them from far. How is this on jets? I don't see any. But the precision felt pretty good to me. So the Shiva Gandiva seems like a good bet to me. I think we had the chance to play that in the alpha, but it feels like a good loadout, so I like the Shiva Gandiva. Shiva Gandiva, very good. Let's try Shiva Tri Shula. Let's say rather Tri Shooter HD2. Shiva Tri Shooter Shula. You're gonna shoo the enemies away. Target. Oh, so this is now a combination of the, the missiles. Jeez, this might be your better option. Oh golly, this might be the best of both worlds. You've got the shotgun effect and you've got homing missiles. So the Shiva Gun Diva is good and the first Shiva. This is the, maybe the best of both. I was surprised at the Shiva gun dealer's guns. Which this one's missing, but the shotgun potential of these mini missiles might be better. So this is a difficult choice. Any one of these is good. If you just want a bit of diversity, go between the three. I think a person's going to have to see what, what you're going to end up with. But they all feel pretty good for me. That is good. Uh, the Shiva. Which one was this? So there was the Shiva Gun Diva, and this was the Shiva Shoe something. Oh, there it is. You should can rock it up a bit to look. Otherwise, you just use the map in. So it's in the bottom corner. Bottom left hand corner. That's where I've been. Ooh. I've been at this now for another hour and 40 minutes just going through these makes. Save your energy for your rockets. This might be my default shooter that I would go for. You can save also your energy for rocket boosting. Up, 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 up and away. Death from above! Feels very good. This might be the best one so far. Which one was it again? The shoe something? Try Shula. So you shoo them away three times. Shoo shoo shoo. The Shiva shoo shoo shoo. The tr Shiva try shoe. I like that one. Gun divas are so good. Normal Shivas are so good. But yeah, I don't think those guns are as good as, I'd say these two. Either the Gun Diva or the Tri Shula. This if you want more precision shooting at somebody from far away. This if you want to do a lot of damage close up. So for far away sniping, I'd say the Gun, gun Diva and the Shiva Tri Shula for a slightly closer up. Lots of carnage. Ooh, are we getting finally to the 
Spiderbot, the Yari, Otengine, it's almost like an en engine without the N, Egine, Otegen, Otegine, Spiderbot, let's have a look, NP01, then there's the 2 and the 3, so it's just the 1, 2 and 3, Yari, let's see how, oh jeez, it's massive. Frickin' heck, how do I get in this? Can I get into this thing? You have to go into the middle. Man, it's massive. Oh, it feels like a giant tarantula. None of the other mechs feel like this. Oh my word, that feels just monstrous. I love it. Oh no, this garbage weapon. No, no, no. If it's got that garbage weapon. That's pretty good. This, yeah. <laughs> I like it. Doesn't have jump shit. Oh, does it? It can fly! It can, the tarantula can jump. Now, this is pretty cool. Just hate the second gun. Let's see what the next. Oh, I'm so far away because this thing's so massive. Okay, let's see. E. So the first one, the the version one, not that good. Well, I don't like that gun of it. Let's see what the next one's like. Have to get onto the underbelly of the tarantula. Scratch it where it likes it. Nice. Oh no, not that weapon. Gatling gun. Did I kill both of them? Jeez, whatever this this Gatling gun is dead. Oh my freaking word, this is dead. This thing is scary. Oh, Gatling gun is so powerful. The second shot is like a grenade launcher. This is Arnold Schwarzenegger's make. Sheesh, pretty good. But I don't know about that. The thing works maybe for the ground. It's a good thing they give you um, some jump jets. I don't think she might be too far away with this. First, or no, maybe it was a Gatling gun, maybe it was a grenade launcher, I don't know. There's a spider bot. Sheesh, that's crazy. It's Gatling gun does, I love it. I love the Gatling gun on this thing. Oh, and that's powerful, so that I can Oh, my word. I think this is your most powerful mech. Oh my word. No, oh, this is insane. This tarantula mech is insane. So you should be playing that music down there. with the rockets. You it takes a lot of power. Very cool. I like this one. Jeez. 
Yeesh, but it's massive. This is probably... I mean, this is expensive, but this, this feels like a fun mech. I have to get the resources to build one of these. This is just awesome. I love the Gatling gun. Second weapon is okay, I guess, if you're close up, but guys aren't going to come close up. They're going to try and take you from range with that. So, um, this is the Yari Otagine, and this is the Yari Tanbogiri. Tan Tanbogiri. I would just say Tan. It weighs a ton. It's the Tanner. And the, well, it looks like an engine. Ote, Otejin, Otejin. The Yari engine and the Yari Tan Fatty, whatever. Tan Bogiri. And then the, what is this? Nihongo. Nihongo, let's see how that one is. How are we going to remember these names? I'm trying to think of funny, interesting ways to remember yeah, I don't like that gun, that's just crap. What is this? What is that? It's a bunch of little lasers at the bottom now, this sucks. Don't like it, and the stuff's in the way, and I can't use the air key. I don't know how to shoot the missile in the air. Don't like it, other two much better, especially the Gatling gun. So the Tan one, the Tan Bogiri, that's the one I think I like the most. This one sucks. Look at these crappy little guns! Look at this huge mech and you've just made it toothless. You added toothpicks. <gasps> Jeez, you come from eye up. Nah, do not bother. I mean, it just feels like it's got a bunch of crappy little guns on it. I don't like it. I'm not even going to bother going further. So the Nihongo. I mean, it looks like it's so freaking powerful, but it feels crap. It feels weak. I would say the Tanbogiri, that one with its Gatling gun, that's just awesome. And maybe the Utenjin, that's also pretty good. Alright, are we almost done? What is this one? It's almost like a Thor, a Seven Whore. A Seven Whore Monar MK, and then it's just an AF and R. Let's try them quickly. Jeesh, that also looks big. But it's not as big as the Spiaidi bot. It's going! What the hell? Jeez! I was surprised how far that went now. Alright, let's see. This middle laser is pretty crappy. Yeah, let's do this with this for like decimate the field. Cover the stuff. The accuracy is garbage. Alright. This, this is if you're gonna smoke screen the enemy to death. This is like a smoker. Doesn't it looks amazing, but uh, I would say this is like maybe if, if you're facing a lot of infantry, not something I would use. Nah, not my favorite. All right, so that is what are we gonna call this thing? The Monar. It is like a Monar. It's moaning. Let's see how this Monar goes. Solving my firepower immediately and then I to move around to this all three targets. I don't like this one. No. So this one sucks. I mean look at that. I'm, I'm using only one of the two lasers. No, this is garbage. Guys, you need to rethink this one. I don't understand this make. No, I don't like it. And it's so freaking high up. Every time I dismount I'm getting a little bit of fall damage. Uh, let's try the R. So the F is a fail and the A was also a fail for me. I don't like them. Alright, this is a bit better. Everything's together in one spot. 
Not all the time. Oh, jeez. Is it dead? That was just the first shot. Unfortunately, again, we've got the problem. Oh my freaking word, this thing is dead. Alright, I thought he was dead, but oh, there he is dead. I think you're gonna go for the moaner. Go for the moaner R. Above the others. Unfortunately, I can't see what I'm doing. I'm guessing that I'm in there. And then I haven't seen his way back again. Just on the gun. If Jeez, no, this is a freaking strong neck. Alright, only problem is this mount is again in the way. I need to move the camera a little higher. But yeah, the first two moaners were nothing to write home about. This one is certainly pretty good. This one I would tell Mama about. Mama, I met the mech of my dreams. I wouldn't say this is the mech of my dreams. Close. Uh, for me, it's between the Shiva and the Gatling Gun Spider. Alright, so the R is the best one. These two felt like garbage. R felt pretty good. Guns are aligned. Let's try the J Ren. I have tried the Shi before, so I'm not that excited because it. It looks cool with the lightning, but these stupid blade guns are garbage. So let's see what the Ren is. I can already tell you the she is not that great. The, the electric part is good looking mech, but different to the others. I like the style. It feels fast. So the, this is the Ren, right? So it's fast. Jump G. Missiles. Alright. So let's see. Locking. Yep, they heat seeking. Not bad, not great. It's all right. now. So I've got the gist of that. Standard weapons we've seen before. They're not perfectly aligned on top of each other, so you have to be careful what I'm firing. One, two. And I don't like that the lasers don't overlap on the target. That's all right. Wouldn't be my first choice. The she, I hate those second weapons. Those, those blades, where is it? Yeah, these stupid blade things. That is such garbage. Alright, let's see. That stupid garbage weapons. The lasers were good. Oh, yes, it wasn't like lightning section. I think these lasers are good. Let's see if we try and shoot some. You, the re recoil's quite bad. I thought I was on target. Looks like I'm a bit low. Let me try a higher. Too high. Just jumps. Alright, there I got him. But just getting on target is not easy. You have to be a little high to hit. And he's still not destroyed after three hits. It's a nah. It's alright, but it's not my first choice. Stupid that and the lasers. Mm -mm. No. Shiva and Spiderbot. Oni's Gatling Gun Spiderbot. And the Shiva. Which one was it? So. Uh, oh, I don't remember which one it was. I think it was the Tangbo Tanbo yeah, Tanbogiri. Tangbogiri is good. So yeah. The Yari Tanbogiri. I like that one. This was alright. A Tenjin. And then the Shiva, and it's either one. Either the Gandiva or the Trishula. Almost like Trishula. Yeah, Trishula. Almost like a Tarantula also, Trishula. Nah, but the Tarantula is these ones. So those would be my top two. And now we're going to try the last one, which is the Ren Ya Yao. You Yahoo. No, 
Oh, that's garbage. Alright, don't like it. It's a garbage weapon. Bad accuracy. Well, alright, I did shoot something, but I think I shot what I wasn't aiming for. Jeez! Is that like one shot, one kill? Alright, th that is freaking powerful. <gasps> I was dissing this, but these guns are freaking powerful and they are lining. It's not so great for aeroplanes. that it's so wolf target so you're not going to get airplanes but for other mechs this this one's probably pretty good that that was pretty deadly should we see how it does against a spider bot with extra armor You don't target with the main one, you have to now target with the little one and remember. It just makes it difficult. That is where I recommend you take it. Everything destructible and hitboxes for the different arms and custom. You need to make this like Mech Warrior. You need to make this more like Mech Warrior. And Star Citizen and Star Atlas that you can get into the mechs, get out. With proper animation for it. Alright, well those are the mechs. My two suggestions, the Shiva. And the tarantula, the tan something, tanagula, what was it? So, if you're going for the wren, the wren yao is better. 
if you're going for the seven whore uh, moaner, the R is the best one, the MKR. If you're going for the Yari, go for either one of the first two, but I think the Tangbo, Tangbogiri was my favorite. And if you're going for a Shiva, you can go for the Gandiva more sniperish or the Trishula for more um, close combat. Those would be my choices. And then, yeah, I did say with the Jets, I did like the Itashi, that was good. I did not like this, but yeah. That is it, guys. Have a great day. We've gone through everything now. So, Jesus bless you and have a great day further.